What's going on? You listening to the readings? Huh? Are you listening to them? Pistols of Virgo. He's September 19th. He's very attentive. He loves to sit around and listen to readings. Hey, bud. Say you want prayers. Say you need prayers. You're going for an ultrasound on Tuesday because you've been having pancreatic attacks for the past year. A little over a year. And you want to be well. You want to be 100% well. Send your love. Send your love. Good Hello, boy. Geminis. How's it going? This is your mini bi-weekly reading for November 1st through November 14th, 2016. Great messages going on here. You know, the first one that's coming in here is I feel like there's something that you're trying to push through. Whether this is pushing through a sale of a house, a sale of a business, uh, you know, some type of uh, proposal, but I feel whatever it is, you've been trying to push it through and it hasn't been going through. And I feel that these next two weeks, you're going to land it. <clears throat> I feel someone's going to assist you. Someone that you kind of thought, mm, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, I don't know if, if this person really can help me pull this through, but they can. And then you're going to have an awakening about that to where then you're going to finally include them in this and they are going to support you 100%. Plus they have some very inspirational ideas to get this moving, to get this going. So uh, I, that's what I, that's some of the things I'm seeing here for uh, these first two weeks of November. I'm also getting that some of you are going to go through a career transition. So um, maybe what's happening here is well actually it's not a maybe i'm getting a strong feeling that some of you are focusing lately on what is your life purpose here what are you doing here what's going to make you happy what's going to change things for you so i feel that your focus is on that and really it's good it's good it's very good what i'm under what i'm feeling the connection here that is needed is spiritual understanding once you get the spiritual understanding, I feel that things will begin to click for you. Okay, now it doesn't mean that you have to go out and read all these books on what spiritual understanding is. I feel like that is more of a focus like within you. Like feeling your own vibration and, you know, setting out on that alone. And just kind of understanding that you're a authentic divine being. You know, and just connecting with that divine source will help you uh, in this spiritual understanding. Now, some of you who aren't, you know, focused on your life purpose, I feel there is a career transition happening. Uh, maybe you've gotten bored on what you're doing or you figured out it's not making me enough money. And so there you're going to either change careers, maybe go back to school. Or maybe you're already in school and you decided, oh, you know what? I don't want this to be my major or my minor. And there's there's some tweaking going on here, some changes. Okay, now you are under Scorpio's energy right now, uh, the first part of November. And so I, I just kind of feel that, um, you know, this might have something to do with, besides spiritual understanding, like psychic investigation like suddenly you know it's like okay my third eyes open and now I'm starting to see through people and um, people might be seeing through through me so what you want to do is you want to be careful you don't want to leave your third eye open all the time because then you know besides you being able to see through others and and other things you know it's also going to be able to see in through you so you want to make sure that you keep your your third eye closed here uh, occasionally because that's only for your protection now I keep getting some messages that some of you are either in a um, phase of remembering remembering someone you lost like memories I feel like memories are coming up here and maybe they passed away early part of November and so you might be having a little ritual for them or you might be just thinking about them. I'm also feeling like some of you uh, 
may actually be with someone, a uh, family friend, or even a lover who isn't very well and could be, um, you know, could be on the verge of maybe uh, passing and crossing over. Uh, I, I don't want to hold back my messages. This is kind of what's coming through. Uh, and while I'm talking about this briefly, I keep hearing a message for a Kathy who, uh, and it could be several Kathys. One of them I'm getting a mother passed away who um, was ill. You know, I'm getting maybe something with cancer, breast cancer, or something with cancer. And she's just trying to get the message to a Kathy. Uh, her daughter who uh, she just cherishes and letting her know that uh, all is well that she's doing fine she's um, currently working on life lessons reviewing her life here and uh, she's with her angels and everything is fine I'm also getting a message again for a Kathy but this is a sister uh, now I feel like this life of the sister was uh, interrupted quite quickly and um, I feel like there's a lot of worry going on here and just letting you know that she is okay again she's also in life review of um, you know things that she's uh, participated and experienced uh, you know before she uh, passed away anyways my condolences to all of you uh, but just let you know that the messages I'm receiving here Everybody is doing great. So, Gemini, what I'm feeling here also as I'm looking at the month, okay, I'm not doing a monthly reading here, but I am just going to give little messages that I'm feeling here. I think the theme for November is for you to be gentle, okay? Be gentle with yourself so that you can be gentle with others. I'm getting messages here that some of you may have a lot on your mind and you want to speak your mind, but Spirit is saying that the the, the more um, gentle you are with other people and including yourself, you yourself mainly, I mean the message would probably get along, get through, I mean, uh, fairly quickly uh, if it's coming from a place of peace. But I'm also getting that some of you feel like you've been wrong or you've been in like a wrong place. <laughs> like, you know, you haven't. I think what's happening here is you need to trust yourself. You need to trust your own understanding. Like, I feel like you give so much understanding to everybody else. I don't feel like you get the same back, if that makes sense. And at the same time, I, I feel like you don't trust yourself, like you don't trust your own understanding. And and almost as if you have to look for excuses or another story to attach on so that you, you feel like you have a story to totally understand and you don't need that. You can just, you know, be at peace and understand, um, understand it right from the beginning. This could also have a lot to do with the spiritual understanding that I'm picking up. Um, like I feel like some of you may be downloading downloading means getting wisdom getting knowledge from the universe uh, it's like coming into some aha moments and that's interesting because again we're going the energy of November is Scorpio and Scorpio is the occult it's trans transitions and transformation it's your it's um Mars and Pluto uh, very intense planets so uh, yeah so that's what I'm getting like I feel like there's downloads like you've been working on things and you know here comes that energy and it's like oh I got it ah uh, finally it's just coming to a spiritual understanding on some of the work and studies you have been doing uh, you know throughout the year it's kind of like it's coming to a catalysm the first two weeks in November so though that's the message I'm getting here now I, I feel like there is something for some of you Gemini's that you've been thinking about 
I, I don't want to say that this has happened yet. Now, this could be a marriage. You may decide that the relationship together, that you decide to get married. I'm also feeling like there might be things that are arising here in November regarding a divorce that's been uh, in the works for quite some time. And I feel like this, it might finally finally come to a head to where there may be closure on this now because I feel like right now there's just been you know maybe uh, child support and alimony uh, either collected or given out and now I feel like it's getting ready to come to the closure like I'm feeling the message from spirit that even the universe wants this to come to closure you know, I'm also getting with the spiritual understanding card that a lot of you maybe have been studying astral projection or you've just been um, journeying a lot, meditating and journeying a lot and getting some a lot of aha moments. And other times I feel like you've just kind of been stuck, like you're looking for this huge explanation from the universe. And here's where I, I feel trust your own understanding. Just trust it as it comes in. There is no right or wrong. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and shuffle this little cute deck called Affirmators. Affirmators, I'm sorry. Affirmators. Oh my God, can I talk today? Okay, so uh, they're kind of funny, but let's see what the little message from the universe is with these. Uh, this is how the deck looks. I don't know if any of you have got that. It's got the unicorn. It's just affirmate. Affirmators on it. <laughs> Come on, Andrea. <gasps> Okay. Sorry guys, I did not turn down my phone. My fault. I just wanted to run over there and do that. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a card that that just comes to me out of the deck. It's the love card. Oh, look at those two little birds. Okay, this love card is love is a many splendored thing. Today, I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors. Like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent. Or the surge of self-congratulation I feel when I sink a three-point trash basket shot on the first try. Or how about the chills I get while singing along to... And then it doesn't say anything after that. But you can name a song. It says you know the one. So there's lots of love being sent to you and maybe some of you aren't feeling it. So what this card represents is kind of slowing down and just feel love is a many splendor thing. Okay, just kind of connect yourself, I feel like, to things around you and feel grateful for them and just feel the love flowing through them. Okay, that's the messages I'm getting. Uh, from the universe when I pull this card. Now just to look at the cards one more time to make sure I have not missed a message here. I know this is a mini reading but I just want to make sure that I got everything in. I, I'm getting a sense that the first few weeks of November there is could possibly be a reunion of a couple that um, you know it's been kind of going in and out in and out type of relationship. And I just feel like this possibly could be a reunion. That's what I'm that's what I'm feeling the vibrations of is some reunion happening here. Now, um, I don't think we should expect. I think we should let that divine energy flow and see what happens these next two weeks. I just want to pull a few love cards uh, from my Whispers of Love Angel deck. Well, there speak the language of love. 
focus on love and do something for someone else. So speak the language of love is, to me, is focusing on the power of word. Like, make sure that you are conscious of the words that you speak because words can hurt, words can damage, or words can enlighten. So I feel like this in the first two weeks of November for you, Geminis, is to focus on, in your Mercury children anyways, focus on how you communicate love. And, you know, if there are uh, some things you may have said in the past to hurt someone and now you don't mean it, what's done is done, but you can clear it. You can clear it and clean it and you can bless it. Okay. Uh, and then the second card is focus on love. So this is like, if you focus on love, I've noticed this over time after time I've practiced this, if you look for the good and the love in everyone, you're going to find it. Okay? I know for some of you, maybe there have been some hard times and some miserable times, maybe even heartbreaks, but if you focus on the love, on everything, you're going to find love. If you focus on the opposite, which is hate or darkness, that's what you're going to find too. So I just feel like um, this is a really good month. I feel like you get in touch with yourself uh, in general. But these next two weeks, I feel like this is where you're going to touch base on this. And do something for someone else. So I feel like you need to give someone. Okay? It doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and buy a gift for someone, but you can but I feel like there's someone in your life, and I want to say this for all Geminis, there's someone in your life that you can gift, even if it's just the gift of your love. Okay? And I uh, really feel that that is the message there. Okay? That all of you Geminis in these next two weeks need to gift love. You don't necessarily have to express it. Just gift it. Gift love if you want to pick up roses or if you want to pick up a plant, you want to buy clothes, you know, you want to buy candy, whatever it is, that's fine. The most precious gift of all is love. Giving love. Even if it's just for a moment. All right, well, I'm going to leave you with this, Gemini. Thank you for listening. If you'd like a, a personal reading with me, it's www dot transformation and empowerment dot com please remember to check your moon and rising it was great to connect with you much love and blessings